Hi, Ashley. Hi, David. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. I'm very well. How are you? Sorry about that. I was just hanging up on a previous call. Don't worry. Yes. How are you? Everything good? Yeah, great. Thank you. Good, good, good. What do you want to What do you want to work on? Do you Can you Do you want to share your screen? Let Let's share your screen so I can kind of walk you through on on your end. Right. Um. Let me see then. How do I go into the see, incognito? You should see um that one. I think. Did you set up the the fourteen day trial yet or or not yet? Yeah. No, I've done it. Yeah. Oh, you've already done, done it. it okay. Day. Okay. Good. So you're fine. So you're fine. So let's just go into your let's go into your new account, and then I'll yeah, kind of okay. walk you through it. But yeah, screen share. I should be able to see your screen here in a few seconds. Ashley has started screen sharing. Yes. I need the form. So what we're gonna need? So then you have you have a link for 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 an affiliate offer, right? Yeah. Okay. So your friend or or the the business they they gave you the link. And now your whole job is to drive traffic to that link. Yeah. So there's, there's, I mean, there's a couple ways to do it. There's a couple ways okay. to do it. Um, what's the, what's the niche? Like what's the industry? It's passive income. It's um, about transferring your skills online um, and doing, you know, um, online course um, and membership. Okay. So then, so then you'll, you'll either, because running, running ads to affiliate, affiliate offers, you have to, you have to really be like cautious because Facebook, they don't like money making type of opportunities unless, unless you're running it to like a landing page and then, and then capturing the lead first and then maybe okay. send, sending them to the offer. So you wouldn't yeah. want to run a Facebook ad straight to the offer unless 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 here here's what you maybe should do i mean go on because the company the the your friend that has the actual you know program she has i would assume she has a presentation right she she's she's sending people to a webinar right yeah she wants and, them to sign up for a challenge for for the challenge okay and then, and then once they sign up, then, then there's a challenge. And if they're interested, then they purchase, right? Yeah. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, you're going to want to run ads to your landing page to capture the lead. And then once you capture the lead, then they see the challenge. Yeah. Right. So yeah. now all we got to do is just simply put together a simple squeeze page and a simple thank you page. That's kind of, and, and that's, that's kind of, I don't know if that, is that, was that, was that what you had the first time around or was that a different product? No, that's what I did. I done the squeeze page. Um, I did the, the form inside the, the land, the squeeze page, and then I did the thank you. Um, okay. But I, it, it stopped sort of working. Um, it didn't. Yeah. Be, it didn't seem to be attracting. So I've done everything he said to do. I've, I've. Um, I'm getting a giveaway. You know, um, like an ebook mm -hmm. written. Mm -hmm. about, um, the ten benefits of having ADHD, and having passive income. Mm -hmm. You know, and, mm -hmm. and I'm going to base it around that because I know my friend. Is, I know my friend is is doing this, but to be honest with you, I think. I would be able to help people the same way Yeah. from my business experience. So I think once I've got this out the way, I'm, I'll, I'll start offering it to my niche, mm -hmm. people with ADHD, myself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I understand what it's like to not be able to show up when you, when, you know, or mm -hmm. make your brain work at times when you mm -hmm. need to. Mm -hmm. so, then, so then are we going to drive traffic to the book? Or to to a webinar. Um, well, for now, because she won't she won't let us um, send out the link until she's announced it. She's not announcing it till the twenty eighth of September. But she's yeah. not even actually running the challenge until mid October. So then, so then your book that that should yeah. be the number one focus then. 
right? Okay. Yeah. Because that, I can keep that audience then, can't I? Yes. That, that's what's so powerful about it. Yeah. So if, if you, if you like start getting out that book and, and yeah. getting a bunch of people to download it that all have that same interest or that same yeah. struggle or, or yeah. have the same experiences and then you get them on a list and you communicate yeah. with them, you set up maybe an email autoresponder or you email them, you know, a couple times a week and you keep that relationship going. Yeah, Those are people them. that are, you're going to be able to email your affiliate link and, and many different affiliate links to in the future. Yeah. So, okay. so it all has to start somewhere and it all has to start with something for free and it all has to start with that Facebook ad to a landing page to give out something for free. Yeah. And, and a lot, and what your friend's going to be doing because she, you know, she doesn't have, she probably doesn't have a book or maybe she doesn't need a book because she now has a full blown presentation. She'll be running Facebook ads to her presentation. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but, sure. but someone like you, an affiliate, you may, what I would highly recommend is you run ads to your book. Like that's okay. you, you, you build that brand. This is Ashley. Yeah. This is my ebook. This is my experience. I would run ads and I would build your entire brand around that ebook. And once okay. people download it, then they're in your world. Once yeah. they download it, now they're on your email list. Now they're getting emails from Ashley. And these emails yeah. are going to have different opportunities for passive income. Yeah. And that's when, you're, that's when you'll go get your affiliate links and start sending it to people who are on your list. But you're yeah. not going to run Facebook ads to the webinar or you're not going to run Facebook ads straight to the affiliate offer. No, you're going to run Facebook ads straight to your book. Yeah. So as long as it's the same type of person, audience. Yeah. the same type of niche, the same type of interest, as long as that's the same, you'll do very, very well. But okay. let's say, for example, let's say, for example, if your ebook was on ADHD and overcoming and opportunity with passive income let's say your yeah. ebook was on that but your yeah. friend's course was on how to bake yeah something completely different than yeah. your ebook right that's when it wouldn't make sense that's yeah. when it wouldn't yeah. make sense because now you're now you're now your friend you're you're an affiliate with a product that is completely outside of ADHD and passive income. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so, so, so that's where it doesn't work. So if, if you can stay within the, within the category, yeah, I would recommend starting with your ebook and letting that be your brand, your brand, okay. your brand, Ashley, the Ashley brand evolves around driving Facebook ads to people who have this type of ex interest and they yeah. download my ebook. Once they download my ebook, I have a, plethora amount of offers that I'm going to send them yeah that that are all in the same niche or the same category of this ADHD yeah. and passive income you have to stay yeah. within that same category yeah you know and I, I have that's what I plan to do beyond beyond perfect. this um, perfect. um I, I plan to have my own course through Carter perfect um perfect. And, and membership maybe um via Carter for, yes. for my audience. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Like I'm going to make your learning curve, not, not necessarily your learning curve, but I'm going to save you a ton of time, a ton of time, okay. a ton of time. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just give you my entire book funnel. Like okay. I already have an ebook. Like I already have every page done. Like Okay. I already have it all. Like I'm going to just give it to you. Like I'm going to just okay. transfer it to your account right now. Now you'll have to, we'll have to, you know, together I'll teach you. We'll have to go in and edit everything, but at least yeah. the template will already be yeah. there. Yeah. And, 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 and I'm going to walk you through exactly, exactly what it is. Okay. So, Great. so let's come over to my screen real quick. Um, pull back up the zoom window and then just um, come come over here to my my Karcher account real quick let me know when you can when you can see it so stop share yeah stop okay. share and then you should be able to see my Karcher account yeah okay so 
let's just make this clear real quick. Your whole objective is to drive is to drive traffic to an ebook, right? And and get people I'm to download your ebook. Audience. To build your audience, to build a list, to build a to build a list of hundreds yeah. of people that are interested in in this type of, of of field of industry, whether whether they have ADHD or they have previous experience, and now they have to learn how to make extra income. And now Ashley yeah. has different ways to make passive income. That right there is a beautiful match, right there. That's perfect. Yeah. So so I've done exactly that, but obviously in in a different industry. But I have a book done. I have all the pages done. I have the emails done. I have everything done. And so okay. the beauty thing about Kartra is that as you create stuff, as you yeah. create a landing page, as you create a thank you page, as you create a funnel, as you create anything, you, the beauty about Kartra is, in, is, 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 is you can then package it all up yeah. and give it to somebody. Great. Or, I, or I could package it all up and sell it to somebody. Yeah. But – all I care about is, is an individual, you know, getting onto Kartra with my link. And as long as they did that, I'm going to give them all my time. I'm going to give them all my funnels. I'm going to give them all my knowledge. I'm going to share that, share everything so I can help them be successful. And, and, and yeah. why do I even care to do that? Obviously, because I care about Ashley, I want you to succeed, but also because Kartra pays me to do it. Yeah. Right. The affiliate commission. And that's kind of what I'm in it for is building that long-term passive income. That's my passive income, actually. My passive income is Kartra. Yeah. So as I get people on Kartra, that's my passive income. That's why I go the extra mile to help you succeed so you can yeah. keep the damn thing. Right? So, so yeah. here's, here's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my book funnel. Okay? Okay. And, yeah. and, and you can model the entire thing because I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to have the entire okay. funnel imported to your account. Great. Um, but let me show you what it is first. So as, as we come into Kartra, it really, starts with, it really starts with my communications. It starts with the list. So as, okay. people, as people opt into my landing page, so for example, here's my book funnel. Here's my landing page um, for, my, for my book. Did I show this to you the other day? Um, I, don't, I can't remember. Okay. Here's my landing page for my, for my free book, okay? Free book yeah. reveals yeah. the top five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. So here's, here's my book page. A person comes yeah. here, they read the headline, they read the headline, there's a few bullet points on what the book is about, yeah. and, then, and then down here there's a few testimonies. Um, right here, they can share it on social media. They can share the page. It makes it super easy. They can share it on LinkedIn. They can share it on Twitter. And then, and then right here is a countdown clock. And then they click the button, send me the book now. So yeah. there is the first page. Here is the form, right? And then once they fill out the form, they then go to the thank you page, right? Yeah. So once that person opts into the landing page, they're on a list, okay? Yeah. That list is also tied to a sequence. So what I'm going to yes. do is I'm going to give you the list, which is just a, a, a list. It, there's, there's not going to be any leads on it, but at least you'll have the, the name. You'll have the list, and then you can just yeah. come in here and edit the name of the list. Yeah. But then what I'm also going to give you is my sequence. So when a person comes and opts in, they're yeah. now on a sequence, and they now receive a handful of emails that are going to go out over the next few days. That's this sequence yeah. right here. So in this sequence, I already have emails that are already written. They're yeah. already set. They're already – now, obviously, you're going to have to go in and edit them to fit your business, yeah. but at least the layout will already be there, yeah. right? So these are – this is my email sequence. And what I do, the whole objective with, with my email sequence is to educate them on what, what was in that book, but what I yeah. do – is I'll write maybe a brief paragraph in the email, but my whole objective is, is to get them to click to watch my video. Yeah. So, so okay. what I do in all my emails is I put a video. Yeah. And, and, and so with you, that's what we kind of touched on, you know, a few days ago where I would recommend your emails that go out, make it a video. Yeah. So if you have okay. the top seven tips, okay, great. Break those tips down 
in email, that's your email sequence. That's what's going to, what's yeah. going to go out after they download it. But also explain that tip in a 60 second video. Yeah. Okay. That's how you go further. That's how you take it up a few notches. That's where people yeah. really fall in love with you because they're like, okay. wow, Ashley, I can't wait to get her next email. She's on video explaining to me what's on page nine. She's explaining yeah. to me tip number nine. She's explaining yeah. it to me on video. That's where people fall in love with you. Video, yeah. video, video. And so yeah. what I put together here is my email sequence. And then when they click on it, like, let me show you, an, uh, uh, let me show you the, the actual email. So as you come into the email, you click on edit. Over here, this is where we can change. Like I can choose which day I want it to go out. If I want it to go out a day later, three days later, whatever, I can choose. I can choose the day. Um, yeah. but, but over here in the email content, this is the actual email. So as yeah. I come in here, here's how I wrote out my emails. So the subject line, hi, Ashley, did you implement the five steps? So right okay. here, I'm talking about these five steps that are in the book. Please tell me you implemented the top five steps. Did you? If you need help and would like to schedule a free 30-minute strategy call where I walk you through the five steps via screen share, click button below and schedule a call. Yeah. So this, yeah. Is, this is where now it's my last email of the sequence. Yeah. And now I'm trying to get them to schedule a call. So this is one email that went out. Now, another email would be rather than clicking to schedule a call, I would have them click to watch a video. So I would tie, yeah. I would tie a link to my video page, for example, and get, okay. them, get them to actually watch a video that, I, that yeah. I made on that step or on that tip or whatever it may be. You know, so, okay. so I have it all done for you, Ashley, is what I'm saying. And I'm going to just, I'm going to just give you the, the whole, di the whole damn thing. Just, so, just so you can save a lot okay. of time and, and I can, I can help yeah. you even faster because this is, this okay. is a, a book funnel that is already converting. Like it's already proven. It's already converting. All you got to do is just edit and work around it. So the email list is what I'm going to give you. The email sequence is what I'm going to give you. And then my pages. So over here in my okay. pages. Here is what's in my book funnel page. So if I come down here, you want to categorize because you'll have different projects. You'll have one for your affiliate marketing. You'll have one funnel for your, for your ebook, right? Okay. So you'll want to start categorizing everything. So in okay. here, I have category. Here's my book category. These are all the pages inside of my book funnel. So it starts okay. with the landing page. There's the landing page. And yeah. then once they opt in... They then go to my thank you page where yeah. it's me on video. This is my thank you page. So it's me on video, thanking them, yeah. introducing myself, telling them to check their email, say, hey, I just, I just sent you over the PDF, so make sure you check your email. And then number four, I'm telling them to schedule a call. Yeah. Okay. That's my thank you page. So all this is already done. Like it's already done. You can change out the color. You can change out the yeah. video. You can change out the headline. But as far as the template, I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you my exact thing. Yeah. Great. Like, so that's the thank you page. And then as some people are going to schedule a call right here and some people are not. And so that's the whole purpose of my email autoresponder. That's my whole, the whole purpose of my email sequence. Now, yeah. as I have these emails going out, let me, um, let me show you this one right here. So as, as that last email that I just showed you, that last email was designed to get them to schedule a call. Yeah. But all the other emails before that are designed to get them to watch my video. Okay. So when they click, they come to a Karcher page where it's me on video explaining step four in the book. Okay. So I'm not just trying to explain it via text in an email. Yeah. I'm actually explaining it in an email, but in video. Yeah. That is where, so now a person, they get to my, my email number four. They just downloaded my book four days ago. Now, four days later, they're receiving the fourth email and it yeah. happens to be David on video. So when they come here and they press play and it's me on video. Yeah. Watch this. 
this is where the game changes, you guys. Um, okay, so as I keep mentioning and mentioning in all these steps, as I mentioned in the book. Um, See, so all I'm doing is I'm breaking down that step in the book, but I'm doing yeah. it in video. So when that lead sees you, Ashley, on video explaining a part of the book, they're going to flip out. Now, is this part going to be time consuming? Yes. Like, do you have to really, you know, put some time into, into all this? Yes. But I'm going to save you a ton of it by just giving, giving you the damn template, you know, and, yeah. and, and you'll just work around it, you know, but, but yeah. here, all I do is I, is I put together some funnels, like in this case for this type of, you know, business, I give them yeah. funnels. There's the share code. So, so what I'm doing in email number four, they downloaded my book. Now, yeah. now they're getting email number four talking about step four. And that step has to do with landing pages. So what I did is I created a bunch of landing pages for them and I'm giving them the landing page as long yeah. as they activate their 14 day trial. Okay. So this is just, you know, a, a completely different strategy, but in your case, you may be linking them. You're going to be linking them to an affiliate offer. So in your email number four, you're explaining passive income number four on page nine. Yeah. And maybe in your video, you're telling them, Hey guys, and by the way, click the link below. And it's going to take you to an amazing product that has helped me tremendously yeah. with my ADHD and gave me the ability to make a passive income. You're not going to want to miss it on this. So click the button below and take a look at this newest offer. You guys are going to love it. See you on the next video. Yeah. Great. So, so that type of video. Now my video over here is 22 minutes long. Yours yeah. does not have to be that long. Yours could be two minutes. Yeah. You know, I just tend to talk a lot. And so I, I kind of do that in my video as well, but, but, but the people that are going to watch it are people that are really interested, you know? And so in your case, you can do a much shorter video and, and, and over here, I'm, I'm leading them to my affiliate offer. I'm leading them to my affiliate offer, which happens to be Kartra. Yeah. You'll be leading them to your affiliate offer, which could be something completely different. Yeah. Well, what I do is, I mean, like for instance, I'd, I'd, put leases off of there for now, wouldn't I? But after that, I'll lead them to my own offer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Own, oh own yeah. Home. Yep. For sure. For sure. But, but, but this is all the back end. This is all the back end, right? Once they go yeah. to the landing page and they give up their name and email and they want your ebook, what happens after that? That's the million dollar question. That's where everybody yeah. drops the ball. Everybody, fails because they don't have the back end part down. They think it's all about a Facebook ad. They think it's all about just giving away the book. But what about what happens after that? Yeah. We have to nurture that lead. I have to continue to communicate with that lead. And I, and I want it to be automated. I yeah. want all this information going out while I'm sleeping. Yeah, of course. Right? Yeah. Like I want cells being made while I'm out with my family. Yeah. You know? So, so this is, this That's is all the back end. This is how you automate everything. So yeah. all these pages are what I have tied to my emails. I'm going to give you all that as well. The okay, actual please. form, the form that they fill out, like they go to your landing page and they fill out the form. That form is right there. I'm going to give you that. Um, yeah. The calendar, you don't really need that because you'll create your own calendar and that's about it. It's really just, it's really the, the sequence, the pages, the form, and, 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 and that, and that's about it. And that's about it. So here's what I'm going to do. I already have it all packaged up. I gave it to another friend of mine, um, just the other day. It's this ebook funnel right here. So let's open it up so I can show you exactly what is in it, which is everything I just, I just covered. So in it, okay. there's 11 pages, okay. the landing page, the thank you page. Um, I also included a sales page. Um, because here's, here's my book funnel. Here's my real, real, real book funnel. As you noticed on that other page, there was a countdown clock. Yeah. When that countdown clock hits zero, it then directs them to my sales page where now they have to buy it for $5. Okay. So I included that as well. 
Okay. So you can come in here and you can just reword everything. Okay. But this, this is what, what Karcher calls or what anybody calls a long form sales page. Okay. As long as it is, this page converts. So all you're going to do is just reword, you know, reword it to fit your business. Yeah. And, and this is just if you decide to sell it. You'll have a page where people can download it for free. And then you'll have a page where people could buy it for whatever you want to spend it, whatever you want to, okay. you know, sell it for. But because people will buy it. Now, you'll want to start off by giving it away for free. Um, and then maybe get some reviews and then start selling it. Um, yeah. But I included everything. That's why there's over here, there's more, there's more pages because I'm including the sales page. Um, and, I, and I think I even included the checkout page. So when people go and, and purchase it, this is the checkout page. So, so do, you, do you then do a, um, a Facebook ad? Yes. And then... Do your mar do your do your Facebook ad and attach your first landing page and then it all it all yes. falls it's like yes. a deck of cards it all oh, yeah. falls after oh, that. Yeah. Yep. It it okay. sure does. So this is this is the back end and, and, and what I tell what I tell my friends every single day, what I what I consult on to other business owners every single day is I just stress the importance and I and I and I and I, I don't remember if I told you this the other day but I think I may have, but I always stress the importance of what you should be spending your time on and what you should be yeah. spending your money on when it comes to trying okay. to build a business online today. It's Facebook okay. ads and Kartra. Those are the okay. only two things we need to learn. Those are the only two things that get our time right now. Those are the only yeah. two things that, re that get our money right now. That's where our budget goes. Our budget and our time today in 2020 and beyond, if we're trying to build anything online, it needs to yeah. be running Facebook ads and Kartra. That's it. Okay. Those are the only two things we need to be spending our time on and our money on right now. I truly believe that. I truly believe that. So, and I think I told you that the other day, but, but with those two things alone, you can, you can, you can scale your business up to seven and even eight figures. My mentor right now, eight figure business makes, makes 15 million a year just from landing pages and Facebook ads, nothing wow. else. Like just, just that alone, just that alone, Kartra and Facebook That's ads. And the guy has a, the guy has an eight figure business. So, so wow. those are the two things, because as you probably experienced, there's many things on the internet. You could be very overwhelmed. You can find all kinds of different people teaching all kinds of different stuff and you can, it can get confusing and it can be overwhelming. And before you know it, you're getting advice from 10 different people. It's like, yeah. it, it could get crazy. So yeah. you want to focus in, focus in, focus in on learning Facebook ads and Kartra. And, and, and that's, that's all I teach, for example, okay. is, is those two things. Because I truly believe no matter what type of business, those are the two things you need, you need to be focusing on. So, okay. so, so over here, here is the entire funnel. Again, um, there's 11 pages to list. What I included in the list is your, your opt-in list. So as they go to your free book, um, funnel and they enter their name and email that lead goes on a list that's one of the two and then yeah. the other list is the actual um um let me see if i can click on it. i think it's the calendar list yeah it's the calendar list so as people schedule appointments then they land on that list right there but again okay. you can come in here and you can edit you can click on the edit you can rename it that's what you're going to do all i'm giving you is a skeleton all i'm giving you is the template okay. And then you could just go in and, and make it fit your business. Okay. Yeah. So, Please. so, so that's the list and then the forms, the tags, and then the sequence is what I showed you those automated emails and then the product. If you want to sell it, then, then I, I even included the way mine is set up. So here's what yeah. I'm going to do. All I'm going to do is come over here and click on share. And yeah. then I'm going to share it with Ashley. So what is your, um, what's your login? What's your username? Or yeah, the one you did, what was it? It was Ashley dot something. What was your login? Ashley dot C-A-H-I-L-L. -L. Yeah, ask. Ask. Ashley dot Cahill. At. At. Luxy L U X Z I L U X Z I. You're cutting out. What did you say? Z I. 
like that? No. Go back to X. Then a Z. I. Group. Dot com. Perfect. So that's the email you use to log in a Kartra? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So as I click on share, you should receive a notification. You should receive an email and then also it will be in your Kartra account. So now let's just okay. go ahead and share your screen and let's log into your Kartra account. All we're going to do is go to my campaigns. You see the one? So not only do you see it in here yeah. under the red, the red dot, but you'll also receive yeah. an email. So you, you also got an email. Yeah. So here's how we, here's how we import it. Available so campaigns. There's the ebook funnel. Click on the yeah. three dots. Yeah. And then you're going to accept it. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to close this out and then you're going to hit the, th you're going to click on the three dots again. So just close this. You can move that zoom uh, panel okay. thing. You can get that out That's of the way. So, hit so close. close. Yeah. And then now go back to um, the three dots and click on deploy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So now, and this is a prefix. This is just a few letters, like abbreviate it, but you'll be able to delete that later. But just put anything, put any sh short um, abbreviation. Maybe put, put, yeah, you could put, you could put ebook. That's fine. Okay, perfect. Import. So now you have the entire funnel. So once this finishes here, I'll show you where everything is at. In fact, this is going to pull up a simple video. Go ahead and watch that video real quick. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now let's click to the left. Let's go to, first of all, let's go to my products because I also sent you the product one. So again, just in case you ever want to sell it, all I did is I, I, I sent you over the, the product placement. So again, you can change the image, you can change the title, but this is where you would set up the product to be sold. Like you're going to be okay. able to change all that. You'll change the title and all that. So my communications, okay. click on my communications to the left. Over here, you'll see the list and you'll see the actual sequence. So click on list and then you can click on sequence. So if you click on sequence, here's the actual sequence. So let's go Wait. into the sequence real quick. And again, you can always rename that. So um, I'll, I'll rename when, yeah, what I'll do is over the next couple of days. Yes. Yeah, I'll gonna, just, I'll really just bury myself in yes, this. Yes, perfect. So here's the sequence. And again, all it is is a handful of emails that are going to go out. So that we'll start tutorial. Please. Okay. So here, those are the starting rules. So for okay. example, let's, let's hover over any of the colors and click on edit. So this is a starting rule. All this is, is it, 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 it tells the cartridge system who is to receive these following emails. Okay. And so the way I have it set up here is anybody who opts into the form or watch, go ahead and click on opt-in form, click on the, the number one. So this is the form right here. Anyone who opts into the free book form, that means anybody that goes to my landing page and enters their name and email, that's the form. So I'm telling the system, anyone who opts into the form yeah. or click on list, or anyone who is subscribed to this list, which, which is the list, you can X out of that one. Let's X out of this one. No, 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 not right there at the bottom. I'm sorry. Funny. Let's go back. I'm sorry. It's the other. Let's click on list. You won't do list, so let's get rid of that one. Click on list, and then just the bottom one. Just X out that subscribe, lead subscribes to list. Yeah, X out that one. And so... It's all about the form. When they go to your opt-in, when they go to your landing page and they fill out that form, that's the form. And you'll just rename the form. That's all. Um, and okay. then the order, if they purchase, put them on this sequence as well. So go ahead and click on that. And so this right here, if they purchase the book, they receive these following emails as well. So it's anyone okay. who fills out the form or anyone who buys the product send them these emails. That's the starting okay. rule. And you could do it however you want. You can just do one or you can do two. Now, in my case, it's two different ones. It's the form because that's the free book. And then the, the order, it's if they bought it. 
same yeah. type of person. They're going to receive the same type of emails. So that's the start and roll. So save that, hit the green one, click on save. And then these are just the emails. Click on save, 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 save. Oh no, it's, it's the other way. I, only because I didn't want to uh, thingy off that list. I'll change the name of the list. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I didn't, gotcha. I didn't okay. quite understand awesome. what we were doing. So no, that's fine. I Good thought, job. well, I'll leave it at that. Perfect. And so we'll get it in my own head. Perfect, perfect. So the, the first initial email, that's going to go out through, through the welcome email, which is in the form. But a okay. day later, which I'll show you, but a day later, this one goes out. So this is step one. So just model yeah. what I already have. You know, break down your ebook, yeah. break it down into steps, break it down into seven tips, or break it down into something like that. Because yeah. that's going to make your emails flow. Yes. Because now in each email, you're going to now be able to, to re educate them on what was in the book. Yeah. Hey, John, this is Ashley. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, remember tip number one that I was giving you on passive income? Here's what I yeah. meant by it. Yeah. And so look, if you look at the email, scroll yeah. down, look at the email. There, I, yeah. wrote out, I wrote it out. And then my whole objective on the first few emails is to get them to watch the video. And okay. so when they click on that, don't click on it right now. But when they click on it, it takes them to a Kartra page where it's me on video. Okay. And on that page is a link right below, as I showed you, yeah. getting them to either schedule the call or getting them to get my affiliate offer. Okay. But whatever it is, I'm explaining that in the video. Okay. And it could be a short video, you know, but just the fact that it's actually on video, like that's what, that's what makes it magical. These it's, people it's, are going to, are going to fall in love with Ashley, you know? It's, um, it's, it's all about familiarizing and them yes. getting to know you that, like yes. you said, about that yes. like knowing trust, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And, and that's why today social media is so, so big. The reason yeah. for it is because of video. Yeah. Okay. We are seeing video of people everywhere because everyone's cell phone has a camera. Yeah. We are able to post content also known as video and that's yeah. what we are consuming on a daily basis yeah it's video so if it's not video that you're going to build your yourself around then you're going to have to get really really good at copywriting text yeah. so now you're going to have to be a master copywriter because there's no video of Ashley. So now she's trying to explain everything via text and you better be very good. See yeah. me, I'm not that good at writing text. I feel I can explain myself better in a freaking video. Yeah. And if the consumer is going to be, is, is going to want to watch video anyways, I might as well do that right? People are consuming yeah. video way more than they're reading. So they are. Yeah. if that's the case, I better put myself out on video. And that's what I do in my emails. I have them read it a little bit, but then they click and they go watch a video. And it's on that page where I'm trying to get them to do what I, what I want them to do, whether it's sign yeah. up for Kartra or whether it's um, schedule an appointment with me. Yeah. Okay. You know? So it's like two choices, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, in my case, you're, you're, everyone's different. But but in your case, affiliate, maybe your your only choice is is, is these emails are talking about the ebook, but it's okay. also promoting the offer. So maybe you're not you're not going for appointments like I am. You're going for people to click the button to take a look at the offer. Yeah, you yeah. know that's your button at the bottom of your videos. Click the button below, and and you're saying that in the video. You're saying yeah. that in the video. Hey guys, and by the way, make sure you click that button below. You guys are gonna be blown away with this passive income opportunity that's really gonna help you. It's helped me, blah, blah, blah. You know? So yeah. so but 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 the reason why I spend time on this is because this is the entire back end. The Facebook yeah. ad and getting them to your landing page, that's step one. But step two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, every step after that is this back end. Yeah. 
and this is where we're gonna where, where we're gonna get their attention even more is is email and just to take it up the next level it's video okay you know so so that's that that email and then the next emails are all you know pretty much the same it's just taking them to a different video and and now now i'm explaining a different part of the book okay yeah okay that's a great so, side to you isn't it the step like you just it it's uh, you say it's the content because there's nothing worse than struggling for content yep yep yeah yeah so in this case it makes it easier to make the content because now all yeah. i'm doing is talking about the book yeah yeah great but, but i'm doing it in video and that's what the audience loves yeah you know great. so so you're gonna do very very well you're gonna do very very well so just follow this model and and just and just link everything to to what you got going on so close this okay. out let me share let me share the next one so scroll to the top no no actually no go back to your share screen just close out close out this this part yeah so close and then and then and then and then you can close out this one and then the rest of the emails they're all very similar just talking about you know different parts of the book and and yeah. and, and more video so let's hit done and exit let's get out of this one yep one thing you're going to want to do also right away which i don't know if you've done already but cool. You're going to want to integrate your, your email. Do you have a business email? Actually, that is the business no. email, the one that you set up. Let's, did you integrate it already with Kartra? No. Okay, let's do that real quick. Click on my integrations to the left because as these emails go out, they have to yeah. go out from your business email. Yeah. Actually, you did. You did. You, it's right there. So perfect. So there's your business email right there. So that email will be on everything as, you're, as you set, start to set up these emails. Okay, great. Okay. So, so yeah. click on, click on my pages. Let's look at all the pages real quick. So these are all the pages that came over. Can Go I ask ahead. a question? Yes. What's the difference in, so you've got categories. So that could be like you um, do for the food industry or you do for um, um, ADHD. But, but what's a site? What's the site? You know, it says new site. Oh yeah. Good question. Very good question. I don't use that feature and to tell you the truth, okay. I don't, I don't really, I don't really know the big benefits of it. I don't, it was something that was added that's new and, yeah. and I guess you can add different parts of your website and put them in categories, but I just, I just put pages in categories. Like I don't, like you can save different parts of, of your page. Like for example, that first one right there, ebook, free, free book. Thank you. Yeah. The free book. Thank you. That top part, the border, part, the part, the which is the dark the blue, and it says, please it says, watch please video, watch video before, claiming before, your book. before claiming your book. Yeah. I could save I that could save and use it for a different page. Okay. But, the, but, the, but, the, but what you're referring to is also being able to do that, but putting, putting everything in categories, which I don't really so, care to because I don't save a bunch of different parts of a page. I just save the whole page. Okay. You know? So in your, in your categories, you, you, so if you go, so if you, like in categories, you'll have book or- um, Open up, open up one page. Open up one page and, and you'll see what you're saying. Click on edit. Let's click on edit. So it's, it's right here. Right. Right. So you have the page name, you have the category, and then you have yes. the site. So yeah, this okay. site, what I do on the site, I'll start putting everything in categories. Oh, actually, that, that's, yeah. that's another thing that I included was the legal pages. But, okay. but, but what, what you can also do, so you could put all your pages in a category, and all yeah. of these pages are going to be in your ebook category. Right? Yeah. Okay. But the site, I don't categorize that. I don't, I don't okay. categorize that. Is that what you're, 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 you're asking? Yeah. The site? All, yeah. So for me, I'd put all my pages for me book in the book category. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then um, I could do another funnel um, and rename them and put them in a course category or yes. a membership. Yep. Yep. You sure can. But yeah. You sure can. That's how, you, that, and that's because otherwise I'd find it like a little bit, overwhelming yep. if i just had hundreds of pages exactly but you can have, as, just as you, from that yep taking a project 
as you click on my pages to the left, all categories show by default. That's why we're looking at all okay. the pages right here. But as you start to categorize your pages, yes, it'll make yeah. everything easier. But the, the site, I just, I just go no site in particular. I, I just leave it at that. Yeah. I, don't, okay. I don't do anything with the site. So it's just the category, okay. the page. So, so in this case, why don't we do this? Let's, let's, let's rename this page name. Let's just do a quick okay. example right here. This is going to be your ebook landing page. So okay. name it, whatever, whatever, whatever you want. And here's what you also want to do. Since you started it off with ADHD, you're going to want to name all these other pages. You're going to want to start it with ADHD as well. We're going to put it in the okay. category. So manage categories. Actually, no, it's not thank you page. Is it? Oh, actually that is. I'm so sorry. That is thank you page. Perfect. ADHD. Thank you page. Perfect. Now let's hit the manage my categories. Now let's put this in our ADHD. No, yeah, no, not right click, left click. Just click it. Sorry. There we go. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a category. Let's, let's call this one ADHD. Yeah. Per perfect. Yeah. So let's click add. Now let's start dropping all these pages in that category. And then once we move all of them to that category, then you can get rid of the TR, the TRE, um, a, uh, category. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So hit edit. Perfect. So now let me show you as we go into a page, cause now what you're going to do is you're going to do it to all the pages, but okay. here's, here's what I do when I first come into a new page. And this is something that you, you want to just get in the habit of. Yeah, let's get okay. rid of this tutorial. So the very first thing I do when I come into a page is I click settings to the left. Like this is the very first thing you do because as you came into the page, you named it, you named yeah. it internally. Now by default, that name will also be the name in the tab. So right there, when someone opens up the page, if you look at this tab that you have open, what does it say in the tab yeah. at the very, very top? It says Kartra, the very, very top, very top of your screen, the tab right there, yeah. right there. It says Kartra. Says, no, not that's the URL yeah. above, above the, the, in the actual tab right there. Yeah. It says Kartra. Yeah. That's the title of your tab. So right. the very first thing I do when I come into a new page is I make sure that I change that title. Maybe I leave it the same, oh. but may, a lot of times you're going to change it. So click on SEO parameters. You don't want yeah. to name it. See how it's named right now? Free strategy call. Like you want to change that. This, is the, this yeah. is the thank you page. So yeah. whatever you plan on doing on your thank you page, you know, you can name it there or you could just name it. Thank you. You know, thank you for downloading because again, that, that's what they're going to see in the tab, whether they're on a computer or whether they're doing it on a cell phone, they're going to see that title. So I don't okay. want that title to say opt in page. I don't want that title to say thank you page. Like I wanted to say yeah. something good, you know, thank you for downloading. Perfect. Thank you for downloading. And then, and then the keywords, yeah. you can just put your own keywords in there, ADHD, passive income. That's just a handful of different keywords for, for Google okay. SEO. And yeah. then the title, you know, you can, you can, you can, you can um, title it something, but you won't have to do all that for, for, for all these pages. Really, this is only important. The keywords, the keywords aren't even important on this thank you page. The title isn't even important on the thank you page on many of the pages, especially the pages that are going out in the emails on all of those pages. You don't have to do any of this, this description, the title, the keywords, it's only important for the landing page. Okay. It's only important for the landing page because the landing page is okay. the only one that you're promoting. It's not these other pages. Like you don't, you're not promoting the, the thank you page. So the description, the title, the keywords, none of that matter on the thank you page. Okay. Um, but the title does. The title, the people will always see the name in that title. So it's always okay. the title of every page that is important, right? So, so now as you change that, go to the very, very bottom and just click on apply. You'll always have to click apply. Okay. Okay. What's so, that mean hide from search engines? Yeah, go ahead and hide it. Go ahead and hide it because it's the thank you page. So you don't need that thank you page being seen on search engines. Okay. So go ahead and hide it. You can, you can shade that gray to blue. There you go. 
and then apply again. Perfect. Okay. So then here, simple thank you page. There's a video. And then if you, if you X out of the SEO parameters, just X out of that. Yeah. You could just scroll down and see the whole page. And all I'm trying to do here is just, you know, thank them for downloading the book. I'm yeah. introducing myself. I'm telling them to check their email. I'm telling them to schedule a call. Yeah. So you could just kind of work around all this and that button when they click on it to schedule a free strategy call, it links them to my Kartra calendar. Okay. And then all the social media icons at the bottom. Yeah. You touch them as well. Yeah. You want to, you want to relink all of those as well. Oh, okay. 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 That's great. And then, and, then, and then change the copyright. And then also what I included is I also included the privacy policy, the terms of use. And I don't think I, I don't think I sent the disclaimer, but I know I, if we go back to the, to the pages, there's a few of those that I did. So, so here's what I want to show you real quick on the left-hand side, the settings, the S the SEO parameters is what I always yeah. change right away. The tracking okay. code hit the back arrow. The tracking code is what's also the most important. So if you scroll to the wow. very, very, very bottom, get rid of that pixel at the bottom, delete that entire okay. Facebook pixel. That's where your pixel is going to go. Yeah. But for right now, go ahead and delete it. I'll help you. And how, how, how familiar are you with Facebook ads? Do you know how to run Facebook ads yet? Yeah, I don't, I've done three and I've, I've, I've put, I have, I've applied the pixel. Okay. And okay. then the, I, I applied the um, event code. Is that right? Yeah, the event code. Have you set up custom audiences and custom conversions? I did that and put a fo I followed your videos and I put in the pixel and then I, I remember you said I put in another two lines and that's when it all started working. Perfect. Reconversion. Perfect. That's where your pixel will go right there. Yeah. That's fine. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So click apply and then, and then now let's just save progress in the top green, the top green button, save progress, yeah. publish live, and then return to dashboard. Uh, by the end of next week, I'll, I'll be up and running. Perfect. So now let's click on forms real quick. Okay. 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 Perfect. So forms. Now you have the free book form. So you yeah. can, you can re-edit that. And then, then that's just a calendar form for your calendar. So if you, if you are going for scheduled appointments, then those appointments go through a form and that's the yeah. form for the calendar. Does that, does it work? Do you, you schedule, do, do, do a lot of people um, do it? Want, want to speak to you? Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? You did. Yeah. So you're not the only one I'm speaking to people every day, all day, just like you who reached out to me. Now, if you would have got my book, you would have, you would have, you would have reached out to me because you would have saw my emails. But, yeah. But, but you, you reached out to me cause you saw my videos on YouTube. Right. So yeah. yeah. So the answer is yeah. Um, you're going to use your Kartra calendar. I would use your Kartra calendar for everything. I use my Kartra calendar for how, everything. How do I integrate the calendar then to, to. Yeah, that's so, going to be, uh, so, that, that's going to, you're going to have to set up a, th a thank you page, which I don't know if I include. Yeah, I didn't include it on this one, but we can easily set up a thank you page. You need a, you need a page and then, and then okay. you have the form because this is, this is why the success page, that's your thank you page. So as people go and schedule an appointment, they go to your calendar, they schedule an appointment, they yeah. then go to a thank you for scheduling page. The thank you for scheduling page is this success page. Okay. So, so okay. you want to set up the page first and then, and okay. then now you'll have the page. And what I mean yeah. by set up a page, just choose a template, choose a template, log into it, publish yeah. live. And now you have a page. You can always go back in later to make it look pretty. 
but 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 you just need the, the the page. You just need the URL. You need it published live for anything, and then okay, you can so go back later and fix it. You know, is the is it the thank you page I need to do? Thank you. Watch, go, go to let's get out of here because we're not we're not going to be on the form just yet. But but click on my pages to the left. Okay. So over here, these are all the pages. So the thank you for scheduling page is the only page that I that that's not that wasn't included over here. Okay. But you can easily, easily, easily see. So I have the privacy policy, the refund policy, yeah. which you might not need right now, and the terms of use. You need the privacy policy and you need the terms of use on your landing page when you're running Facebook ads. Okay. So okay. that's why I included it. Um, now what we can easily do, let's click on the, the, the green dot real quick. Let's just create a quick thank you page for, for scheduling. Thank you for scheduling. Yeah. Click on that one or the green box. Yeah. Click on that one. And then let's just yeah. go to thank you pages. Yeah. And then, and then just choose one. Just choose. This is going to be thank you for scheduling. So, and, and you may not even go for appointments. I don't, I don't know exactly what you're, what you're trying to do, but if you are going for appointments and if you are going to use your calendar, then you need a thank you, a thank you for scheduling page. Okay. So you could just choose so any of these office? templates. Yeah. You could choose any, any of them. So go to the top and then just launch, launch builder. Or if that's not the one, choose, choose a different one. It's a little... Um, okay, perfect. Let's, let's name this. And then, and yeah, this could be just, you know, thank you for scheduling for sure. Perfect. And then the category, it really doesn't need to go into a category because this calendar is for everything, but it's up to okay. you. It's up to you. Oh, so you can use the same page for different funnels. Well, yes and no, but, but in this case, it's a page just for your calendar. Yeah. So, so your calendar is going to be what I'm recommending and suggesting is that you use your calendar for everything, not yeah. just ADHD clients, you know, like use that yeah. calendar for everything. So yeah. this will be a very general page that people land yeah. on when they, after they schedule a call, you know, thank you okay. for scheduling a call. You could put in that category for sure. And then the, and then the site put no, no site in particular. So that's what you'll always do. You always have to drop down and click on that. Okay, okay, create. And then remember, as we come into a new page, the first thing I do is I check the title, the tab. I, I click on settings and I want to I want to just double check that tab. Because what you just named it, thank you for scheduling a call. And let's get rid okay. of this tutorial because you're not going to need this tutorial. Let's let's hit so start tutorial. Just hit start tutorial yeah. and then just make sure it doesn't show up again. So again, first thing I do is I check that settings, settings to the left, and then SEO parameters. So thank you for scheduling a call. You can leave that for sure. You can leave it or you can change it, but I always double check it. I just always double check it because again, that's what the general public is going to see when they land on this okay. page. Okay, so I always want to make okay. sure that's something, that's something good because that's not always going to be what you named the page internally. You'll, you, sometimes you'll want to name it something different. You know, okay. so, so thank you for registering or thank you for scheduling, change that registering, change that to scheduling. Just so you know, thank you for scheduling. Just click the T you'll click the actual oh, T. Yeah. Click the T. That changes the text. So thank you for scheduling. Perfect. And then okay. you can always change the color or anything like that. Um, but as yeah. far as the template like that, you wouldn't, you don't need to change much. Like I would leave it now. You can delete things here and there, but, but especially in the beginning, just starting out, like try to just use the template. It's going to make things a lot okay. easier for you. And then that image, that should be an image of you. That should really be yeah. an image okay. of you. If it's not going to be you on video, that should be an image of you, Ash. Like I'm telling you, that should be a headshot so of you. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You know? Um, and then I'd just change the check your email, wouldn't I? Open your email. I'd change that to um, when we when we talk, um, we'll talk about this or talk about that. Yeah, you could I put could, that. You could put that there, or it could be in the email. 
Yeah. So, so step one, check your email box. Go to the inbox okay. of the email address you use to sign up. Step two, open our email. Find the email we just sent you. It has a subject line, appointment confirmed. Step yeah. three, read everything. That'll be what we have set up for our call or whatever. Yeah. You know, just use this as a, as a template. Okay. You know, I will too. And then, and then maybe, you know, tie up your social media icons right there. And maybe yeah. if you have a logo, you could put a logo. If you don't have a logo, you can just delete that part, you know? Yeah. So, Great. Um, so save progress, publish live, and then return a dashboard. Do you want me, so do you want now me let's click on, now? no, let's click on forms. Now we have to connect that thank you page to the form. Okay. okay. So now let's go into that form. Let's click the three dots and then let's um, go through the setup. And you can go ahead and okay. change the title. Change the title right now. Go ahead and ebook shared calendar. Let's let's get rid of that. Let's just put my calendar or something like that. Because this will be your one your one calendar. You don't really need multiple calendars. Like one calendar is fine. I have one calendar. I started off with a few different calendars, but now I just I just send every everyone through one calendar. It just makes it easier. So yeah. so here on the calendar, it just depends on what you're asking for. It depends on how you're going to be doing your calls. Are you going to be doing them on Zoom or are you going to be doing phone calls? Zoom. Okay, let's get rid of the phone then. Let's hit change and let's, let's, let's delete that phone. We don't want to ask them for their phone if we don't need it. Let's just X that out. Perfect. Hit save. Okay, good. Phone or first name and email. That's all we need. Save and next. And then the confirmation is going to be single opt-in. That's fine. And then the success page, it's going to be a Karcher page. The site is no site in particular, which we're putting everything in that. And then, and then you look for that page. So that page would be, um, scroll down. Thank ah. you for scheduling. And that's why as you start to build out these pages, watch, click the drop down again. What you're going to want to do is in each category for each project, the ADHD, for example, you have a landing page, you have a thank you page, you have other pages that are going to go, that are going to go out in the email funnel. You have all these other pages all in that one ADH uh, campaign. Not only do we yeah, want to put it in that category, but we also want to start it off by titling it that. Because as you come over here to the okay. drop down, if you have a bunch of different titles and not know what the hell is what, it's going to get confusing. Yeah. But as you can notice yeah. right here, what did I do right here? I put ebook step three, three or five, ebook step four or five, ebook step five or five. So when I come over here and look at the drop down, it's easy for me to find it. And so scroll yeah, to the top of that, scroll to the top. You put, um, you started with, with ADHD, right? So ADHD, thank you page, ADHD landing page, ADHD email page, ADHD right? So now we can follow yeah. a format and, and now it'll be yeah. easier for us to find stuff. Yeah. Great. And it's only in the drop down. Like when you come to the pay, you know, a section of Karcher like this, where we have to look at a drop down, it just makes it yeah. easier to try to find it. Yeah. Now, when we hit my pages to the left and we come to all of our pages, we're now going to categorize all the pages. So it's easier to find the pages, but right here, I have to look for the pages in text form. And so it just yeah. makes it easier, right? It makes it easier when you started off with, with those, with that, with a, a, a prefix ADHD, for example. So, yeah. so that one right here, this is, thank you for scheduling. Perfect. Save and next. Now this right here, this is the welcome message. Every form has a welcome message. The welcome message is the email that goes out automatically that goes out instantly. So if I go to your ebook page and I download your ebook, I need to receive an yeah. email instantly, right? Yeah. That's normally here in the form. If I go to your calendar and I schedule a call, I should receive a booking confirmation email instantly. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. there's two places to put those. You can either put the welcome email in the form or you could put the welcome email in the sequence. Okay. You know how in the sequence it, we had the starting rule? Yeah. And then the starting rule was anyone who opts into this form, put them on yeah. the sequence. And the first email, if you remember, the first email that I have in the sequence that I sent you, that first email is set to go out a day later. 
Yeah. I could set that first email to go out instantly. Okay. Which is what I do. So rather than doing the welcome message here in the form, I put no, do not send a welcome message. And I have that welcome message sent out in the sequence to go out instantly. Okay. And then a day later, the next one goes out. And then a day later, the next one goes out. Yeah. So, so I just keep everything in the sequence. And then when it comes to this one, it's for the calendar. When it comes to the yeah. calendar welcome message, I send out this welcome message through the calendar. I don't do it through the form. Okay. Okay. And we'll get to that. That might sound a little confusing now, but it'll make sense because in the calendar, so when you click on, don't click it now, but when you click on my calendars and we go and set up the actual calendar, you put your time, you put what days you're available, you set up your yeah. actual calendar. As we set up the actual calendar, there's also the ability to send out a welcome message there. Okay. I do it there. So just remember okay. in the forms, no welcome message goes out. That's all I'm saying. In the form, okay. no welcome email. We're either going to do it in a so, sequence or we're going to do it in the calendar. Okay. Or it'll go through the calendar. Or go through the calendar. So, like triggers it. It, so the calendar can trigger the sequence. The calendar, the calendar triggers the welcome message. The calendar yeah. triggers the reminder. So look, in our case with you and I, you went to my calendar, you scheduled a, yeah. an appointment. You received an email yeah. right away. That confirmation went out through my calendar. It didn't go out through my form. Okay. What happened one hour prior to our call today? You received yeah. another email. That yeah, notification my, went out through my calendar. It did not go out okay. through my form or it did not go out through a sequence. The sequence is separate. The sequences, those are for all your email list, but this is the calendar. Okay. So, so anyone who opts into a list, if I opt into your ebook list, I'm tied to a sequence. Yeah. That's okay. where I'm saying this welcome message is at. That, this welcome message will be in my sequence if it's for any of my okay. lists. But for my calendar, it's also in my calendar. So the, the, the email is going to go out through my calendar. It's not going to go out through my form. So just to make it easier to remember, in the forms, no welcome message. Hit save and next. Okay. 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 Hit save and next. So right here, this is where we want to now subscribe that person to a list. So I, I, I sent you over the list. You can always rename it. So click on okay. change. Anyone who schedules an appointment is going to land on this list. No, not the tag, do the list. So okay. Scroll down right there, subscribe to a list. Yes, subscribe to list, hit the drop down and find that list. Okay. So that list is going to be a scheduled well, appointment. I, oh no, no not say, create. Should I create? No, because I already sent one over. I'm pretty sure I sent one over. Hit the okay. drop down. There it is there. So it's already there. You got to just rename it. So scheduled appointment. So what's the most scheduled appointment? That one. Yes. And you'll just go back and edit and change the name. Okay. Okay. Go so back. click on add. Do it now. The green, the yeah. blue one. Click on add and then save. You always have to add and then you always have to save. If you ever see a green button, it's either going to be to save. It's either going to be to edit. It's either going to be to apply. Anytime you see a green button, you have to press it. So, so click the green button or, or else you cannot proceed. Click the green save. So where is, oh, sorry. Yeah. You're fine. There we go. Got now you. we're good. Okay. So the sequence, I don't set up a sequence through the form. I set up the sequence through the actual sequence. Okay. Yeah. So I don't, I don't do it here. I do this right here is saying subscribe to a sequence. I don't do it here. What I do it is I do it through the sequence with the starting role. The starting yeah. role oh, yeah. determines who's on this sequence. I don't set it here. Yeah. Okay. Right? So, so, so scroll down. So we're good here. We're good here. We should be able to go down and hit save and next. Let's tie that form to the calendar real quick. And then that's, and then that, that'll be it. Let's tie that form so to the calendar. So click on my calendars. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go in and let's just get this calendar started. Okay. 
So let's click that green button. And then, and then, and then in your case, consultant model, name your calendar, you go and, you know, you can name it whatever. Yeah. Calendar, my calendar, whatever it could be named, whatever. Yeah. Perfect. And then create. And then um, this is where everything is set up. So now we can, we can title it. We can put a subject line. We can, we can do a lot of things to the calendar right here. Um, you can add your logo. You can add that uh, custom marquee, that display. You can change the text in the display. But again, anytime you see a green button, you always have to press it or else you won't be able to proceed. So at the logo space, they want you to save it. So you're either going to change it or you're going to leave it as is for right now, but you have to click that green button, save. Okay. Okay, so go to click it now. Click on the logo and else we're not going to be able to go forward. The logo. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so that's save. So I do save. Yeah, you got to always hit that save. And then, and then now uh, down the custom marquee, you can always change this image. You can put your own image or you can scroll to the right and, and choose an image. There's a ton of them in there. But... um. You can put your own image. I use Canva, you know, for everything. Okay. So I can go to Canva and I can just do a 1920 by 350 and just create a completely exactly. different picture, you know? So, um, or you can use one of theirs. And then that welcome to my calendar, if you scroll down, you can change that text or you can delete it. So it says it right there, welcome to my calendar. You can, you can reword yeah. that or you can, or you can just delete the whole thing. Um, but you'll have to hit that green button save or, or we, we won't be able to move forward. So there's that. Okay. And then let your users select their respective time zone. So leave that yeah. as is and just hit save. So when they come to their count, your calendar, they can choose whatever time zone they're in and schedule. Save and next. Oh, yeah. So over here, this is where you're going to be able to change a lot of, a lot of stuff. So let's read this real quick. Scroll up. This says, what does this say right here? This says, um, you may create multiple classes in the same calendar. So this is just more advanced stuff. I mean, you don't need multiple people or, or I don't know if you're having multiple classes or anything like that, but just, just go ahead and click on the green button below. Just put, yes, I understand. And then, um, and then, yes, I understand. Should I change that now to mine? No, it, you're going to, you're going to leave it as is and, and they can choose when they go to your calendar. Okay. So right here, the description, the title, let's see, scroll to the top. Yeah, so there's the title, yeah. there's the description. You can, you can write whatever you want there. You know, an example, yoga class, advance, and then the description. And then you'll just um, hit, your, hit the team so number. So it doesn't mean class as in teaching, teaching them something, does it? No. No, it could just be, you know, class title, you know, consultation call, strategy call, you know, call on passive income. It could be anything. It could be any title you want. Okay. Um, what did you call? Okay. Okay. And then the hours, and this, this is the only section of, of Kartra where everything will be in military hours. So that's military time. So the, as you set up your calendar internally, you have to set it yeah. up under, under military time. Okay. Okay. So, so that right there, I just go to Google and I, I, I Google search a military time converter and it, and it shows me a, you know, a time, a military time. And I just use that as an example, but those are your hours and then and then right there where it says select a team member hit that drop down and choose your name and then click on add but put something there in the description and you can always change this later but but put something there just so you can know what what, what goes there so right at the top okay. class description yeah just just write something there it could be anything just do anything just put a bunch of random letters just so you, when you look at the calendar, okay. you'll, you'll be able to know what's right there. Perfect. And then, and then the, the session start time, I normally change that. You have zero, five, 10, 15, 20. That allows people to, to schedule an appointment every five minutes. Like, I don't like that. So 
I'll normally schedule appointments on the hour, but you can, you can kind of do what you want, but that's, that's kind of how I have mine. And then, um, and then if you scroll down, we'll go to the very, very bottom. So you can always block out a date. Like if you want, you can block out a date. Um, yeah. Scroll down. And then the number of sessions, I leave that one. And then no minimum book and notice. I don't book appointments the same day. Like I always take appointments the next day, but you can do whatever okay. you want, but there's a bunch of different options there. Don't allow same day booking. Don't allow bookings for today or tomorrow. So you can always customize this. Okay. You know, um, and then at the very bottom, score to the very, very bottom, this is where you're going to put in the form. So the form okay. we just created is right there, my calendar. Perfect. Now you got to go back to the top, click the green save button. It's always about those green buttons. So if you can't proceed, okay. it's because you didn't click a green button. So okay. go to the very top, click, look for that green save button. And, and click that. There you go. Perfect. Save. And then now you can go to the bottom and save and next. So there's save okay, and next. Great. And then the communications, um, email confirmation. Yes. So again, in my forms, we could have yep. sent a welcome message, but we don't do it there. We do it here. So okay. this right here, it's going to come from your email. If they reply to it, they're replying to your email. So click the green button. Yeah. Let's save that. And then this is the setup. So now we have a booking confirmation, confirmation message, and then we have an email reminder message. So if you click on yes, you're going to do yes for both of them. Yeah. So that pencil, that's what allows you to go into the email and edit it. So this is the welcome message. This is the first okay. email that's going to go out as they okay. schedule an appointment. So okay. you can just reword all this. Um, now, now right here in the email, this applies for every email as you go and set up an email. Right now, you're looking at email through basic text. You look up, uh, yep. up in the top right, it's in the basic, basic uh, yep. mode. If you go to advanced, you then can now build one out, a template. So you can go to design templates. You can look at full templates. And Karcher has all these different templates that you can use. And you okay. just click, drag it over, and you can use yeah. that template. You can change out the image. You can change the blue to green. You can delete a paragraph. You can leave a paragraph. You can do whatever. Like you can, it's just the template. You can always build around it. But if you don't use one yeah. of their templates, you can also build your own. So click on headline, click on headline, drag one over, click and drag, drop. Now go back, headlines, go back, hit the back arrow right yeah. on the top. Yeah, there you go. And now click on, click on text and just, just, you know, click, you got to click on it, click on text. I'm sorry. And then, and then now drag one of those over and then just drop it right below. So you can build out your template as well. Now go back, yeah. go back to text, hit go back. And then now let's grab, grab a, grab a, grab an image. Just click it, drag it over. So you can build out this template. And so what yeah. I do is I normally, I'll build one out just like that. And then what yeah. I'll also add is I'll also add maybe a button, you know, click on buttons. And you can just click and drag over a button. So, so in your yeah. email, your email could say, click the button below to watch this latest video or click the button yeah. below to take a look at our newest offer. Right? So, so Please. if you hover over the button, let's hover over the button real quick, hover over the button and click on the pencil. There you go. You can change the color. You can change the text yeah. and that's where you would link it. The URL. So yeah. click here to, 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 to see our newest promotion or whatever. Click here to schedule a call. You know, it could be anything. Click here to take a look at my friend's newest presentation and they link yeah. to the webinar or whatever, you know? So you can yeah. link them to wherever. Now, one thing I do do is I always add a footer. So hit the back button on the edit, hit the back and go down 
and look for um look for footer there we go footer so i'll always add a footer and you could choose any of those footers sorry but, but yeah you're yeah. going to bring it to the bottom no that's perfect so now go back to the footers and just drag over a footer <laughs> sorry oh, no, you're <laughs> <bad>. sorry <laughs> you're fine it's falling at the knee back okay so drag that and drop it at the very 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 bottom there you go perfect so what i normally do here's what i do whether i change the color change the copyrights change out the social media icons change out the click here button whatever yep what i normally do is i'll do this template for the first email and then what i'll do is i'll save as a template and okay. I'll use that template for every email after. Yeah. Okay. And I normally do that so I can save the footer because you're going to probably change out the button on the next email. You'll probably change out the image. You're going to change out the text. The next email is going to say something completely different. Different. But what yeah. saved you time is having to create the footer every time. Yeah. You don't want to have to create that footer every time. Yeah. You know, so, and what I do is I, I, I delete that envelope. So in the footer, I'll just leave Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Get rid of the get rid right. of the um. Get rid of the envelope. It's it, it's the X yep. the X. Actually, that no, deleted the whole I, thing. I know. So you Sorry gotta just be that. careful. You gotta just be careful what you what you click on because it'll either delete the whole thing or just the thing. So yeah, it could be a little confusing. But try it. It, it was just confusing with the um. But click on it. Click on it. Click click right. on. Actually, I don't think that's it, but. No, I don't either. Because it's, it's hard, isn't it, to. So you got to get right into it. You got to get right. There, you go. there we go. Perfect. Perfect. So see, so I, okay. I would connect all those icons first. I would change the copyright to fit your name. I would do all that first and then save as template. Save as templates, okay. Yeah, and then you'll see that template for your next email. You'll see it to the left. Yep. Yeah, you know, so save it in progress. You save the template. And now, as you X out, you'll, you'll click on My Templates, and it'll be right there. Yeah. And you please. just click and drag it over, and it's the entire next email. Yeah, real. Okay, that's great. You know, so, so that's the email. So hit Edit. That's your comp. That's your booking confirmation. You'll want to change all that later, and then hit save. Hit the green one, and then the email reminder. That's that's the next one. So let's let's click yes. Yes, send a reminder. Yep. And then new reminder. Go ahead and click on that, and then this is the new reminder. So you can set it to go out an hour before your your scheduled appointment. You can schedule it yep. two hours before. You can do whatever you want, and then you can grab your template, drag it over drop it and then there goes the template and then you can change out anything and and change the subject line so you can do everything but that right there is your is your email reminder okay well, so hit okay, save please. and then um and then and then we'll do uh save right here and then save and next and then what i do is i allow so i'll click yes allow cancellation so if anybody needs to cancel that's fine i just let them i don't care if they need to cancel, and I'll hit save, the green one. You know, always hit oh, save. Oh, yeah, cool. And then, and then on the bottom one, it's the um, instant approval. If the time slot is available on my calendar, it's available. Yeah. So I don't manually approve anything. Instant approval, hit save, yeah. the green one. And then save and next. And then the help desk, I don't even use the help desk. You don't need that right now at all. Save and next. Automations. Um, this right here, do you use Google Calendar? Not really. Okay, so you don't, you don't need it here. Um, the reason why I do use Google Calendar, so I end up syncing it with my Google Calendar, is because I use my Kartra Calendar for all of my scheduling. But the yeah. only thing that Kartra doesn't have is Kartra doesn't have a notification. So as your email, as your appointments are, are coming up, let's say you have an appointment in 30 minutes, Kartra yeah. doesn't send you a notification. Now, Kartra is going to send the lead a reminder. We set it for one hour before. So Kartra sends the lead a notification one hour before.
but I don't get a notification about my appointment. So yeah. that's why I use Google Calendar because Google Calendar, whenever I schedule an appointment on my Kartra calendar, it syncs to my Google Calendar and it's automatically yeah. on my Google Calendar. And it's my Google Calendar that I'll have up on my computer as I'm working or yeah. it's my Google app that I have on my phone. So as my yeah. appointments with Ashley are coming up, 15 yeah. minutes before my appointment, I'll get a notification and I get it through Google. Yeah. It's probably worth me doing that then, isn't it? Yeah, I say, I say so. Yeah. For just so you can get notified for your appointments. So um, you have to do it on the integration side first. So yeah, over here. So you'll look for the Google right there. And then you just hit the three dots and then you connect your, um, your, your calendar or your email. So, okay. Yeah. So just put in your email there for, um, for Gmail. And this will be the, the Google calendar you use. So what you'll want to do also is make sure that that app is on your phone, the Google okay. calendar app. Okay. So go ahead and allow, allow. Perfect. Okay. So allow, and you should be, you should be good. Okay. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So now let's X out it. Or actually this is, let's just go back to the other tab. Let's go back to the other tab up at the very top, top left. Let's go back to top the, left. To, yeah. Right. There, so the very do top. I, oh yeah. That yeah. One. That tab. Yeah. There you go. Open up that one. Okay. So you won't see it here right now because you just did it. So yeah. we'll have to, um, we'll have to just put no, just, okay. just do no for now and then save and you, we'll just come right back to it. So go back, go scroll down, go to subscribe to a list and change and add that list. So yes, subscribe to a list and just subscribe them to the list that, that you have set up. Perfect. So, so this yeah, one, it'll be, um, it'll be scheduled appointments. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Perfect. And then you'll scroll down and then save and next and, and we're good. So save and next. Okay. So now go back, click on my calendars. So let's customize this real quick. Customize, hit the pencil. This is the yeah. link to your calendar. So, okay you want to customize that back end part and you're going to customize the back end part of every page. So that back end part four M D I Q L O you don't want that long, ugly link. So get rid of that back, get rid of that and customize that delete that entire thing. Yeah, there you go. So it could be anything schedule now because it's already, it's already dot carcher.com forward slash calendar forward slash schedule. Now. Perfect. Hit the check mark. And you'll do this for all of your pages, for all of your pages. You're going to customize that back end part. Okay. Okay. So, so open up that, copy that, paste, copy and paste, and, and then um, open up a new tab and open up your calendar. That's your calendar. So if you look at it, you'll see where everything is at and you can go back and customize any of the, of the, of the verbiage. Oh, I got, yeah. See, so now yeah. they land and they can choose their own time zone. Yeah. So right there, you wrote consultation call. You put J, 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 J. Um, yeah. There's the image. The logo would go at the top. And then these are all your, you know, open spots. So, yeah, great. So that's your calendar. I would bookmark your calendar. Bookmark your calendar and just, and just save it. You know, all your appointments now go through your, your Kartra calendar. Okay. So, Great. so now let's go back to Kartra real quick. Let's do this last thing and then we'll be, we'll be done for today. And then we can always talk again, Great. but let's go to, let's go to uh, my calendars and let's just, so do that you one. can, you could do either one. Yeah. That one's fine. This one's fine. So click on my calendars again, my calendar. Yeah. My calendars. Just go ahead and click on that. And then, um, what you'll do is you're going to open it up. So click the dots and click on edit. 
So now let's just click change and let's choose that calendar. So yes, and then hit the drop down. There it is there. And then do it again right there. Perfect. And then save at the top and now you're good. Yeah. So now as you go and schedule an appointment on your Kartra calendar, it will be on your Google calendar. Great. Okay. So what I would do is I would just have a, have open your Google calendar during the day, you know, or, yeah. or have the Google calendar app on your phone. Yeah. Okay. Great. And that's yeah. that. So, so now just play around with all that. Make sure you're registered for the Tuesday and Thursday calls. Are you on, are you registered for those calls? For which calls? For the, for the Karcher training calls? No. Let's, let's register. Okay, let me, let me come, to, come to my screen real quick. Let me, um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just register you really quick. You don't want to miss these calls. Like if you, if you miss them live, then you can always get the replay. But try to make okay. them live because this right here is super powerful. This is where I learned everything from. Every Tuesday and right. Thursday, Kartra does a live Q&A call. So it's the okay. culture support team where they jump on webinar screen share. It's live and they just answer any okay. questions you have. So, so okay. if you ever have a question, they'll always, you know, be there to answer it. Give me one second. Okay. Sorry about that. So let me put you in right here. And then what's your email again? Ashley dot. Yeah. Ash. At Luxy group. L U X Z I Z. Let's see. Group. Dot com. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so that's that's for Tuesday's call. Um, but yeah, you'll get a re you'll get an email uh, notification. But try to jump on these calls because this is where okay. it's all at. We have to learn Kartra. Like we have to learn this system. And once you jump on a few calls, once you and I speak a few times, you're gonna know the whole thing, like the back of your hand. So. Okay, great. Play around with play around with everything you have in your in your in your account now. Try to go in there and edit and just change everything, but but the entire blueprint is already there. So let's Smash chat in. let's chat sometime next week. Um and then and yeah. then go from there. Let me know when you get your book. We'll schedule yeah. another call well, when, you, when you get your book. I'll just work on all of that process. Perfect. Um and update it for, you know, suitable for me. So mm -hmm. I'll sort that out. And once I've done that, I'll book another call with you. Perfect. Sounds good, Ashley. Okay. Thank you. Great talking to you. Thanks Have a great much. weekend. Talk to you soon. And you see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.